Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to TBR Cluedo! It's September's TBR. I do not know a lot of what I'm going to be doing in September. <laughs> so we're really going to be scraping the barrel in terms of like me fitting books to prompts in this video and we're probably going to have a lot of books that I did not have set plans to read turn up in this TBR which is always, you know, lovely, fun, exciting. <laughs> but I did tell a bit of a lie there. But this is my monthly TBR game where there's different rooms that are different genres and then you get a prompt and you have to read a book that is that genre and that prompt. And yeah, I'm really feeling good about my reading though on the whole. I had some rough reading months in like June and July. I feel like August has been more positive so I'm looking to take that uh, atmosphere, that vibe into September. The fact that we've only got four months of 2024 left, mm, that's crazy. <laughs> But I'm also kind of ready for 2024 to be over. I feel like it hasn't been a very good year for me. So I'm kind of like, let's just get through these four months, make them as great as we can. And then 2025 will be amazing. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. September's just like, I also do like September as a month because it's like back to school. And even though I obviously don't go to school anymore, I still think it's a month that almost feels like a new mini new year. I love new beginnings. And so it feels like a little bit of a breath of fresh air. So anyways, let's get into the TBR, shall we, for September and see what we're gonna be reading. Okay, roll number one. Person number six, which is yellow, over in Thriller. Let's see, oh my goodness, let's see how many roll. We've got four and a five. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. That is number 22, which is a book rated three point something on Goodreads. Okie doke. <laughs> So roll number one was a thriller that is rated three point something on Goodreads and this book I do not have my clemmy paws on yet, uh, it's on its way um, and it is The Spare Room by Andrea Bartz. This is a thriller that has quite the low rating. I mean like I have on the prompts for TBR Cluedo rated three point something or rated four point something and so it's like a little bit lower rated, a little bit higher rated. This is 3.11. That's low. This is quite a low rating. But the synopsis intrigues me as about a neighbor neighbor's meeting. It's like a woman and a couple and she meets them and they have a threesome and they decide, they're like, do you want to live in our spare room and be like, you know, polyamorous, live in girlfriend, whatever. But it becomes clear that someone else was in the spare room before her. Was there and there was another one and what do they do with her and et cetera, et cetera. I think this could be campy and fun. I just think, you know, it could be awful or it could be like ridiculous and just a bit like over the top and thus I think I'm more likely to like it. But yeah, I don't know a ton about Andrea Bartz. I know she writes quite a few thrillers, but I'm interested to see what I think of this one. I'm just hoping for a ridiculous time, to be honest with you. I'm just hoping it's like balls to the wall crazy. Balls to the wall, well. Wow. I'm just hoping it's crazy and ridiculous and camp rather than shit. I'm hoping the low rating is from people not getting it and not being down to have fun versus it being bad because 3.11 is low. But these are books I love that are rated low. So we we shall see. But yeah, I don't know a ton about this one, but I'm excited to see what I think of it. Roll number two, person number four, which is pink up in horror. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my god, we got a five and a three. Let's just go one, two, three. That is number 28, which is a book with an even number of pages. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Roll number two was a horror that has an even number of pages, and this is the one I gave to my patrons to vote on. They vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month, and that ends up being our book club pick of the month. So they're voting for basically what they want to read. <laughs> and I picked some really good options for this one. The options that I gave them were, I'm remembering them, I'm trying to remember them. The Gathering by CJ Tudor, An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson, Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan. What was the last one? Oh, The House That Horror Built by Christina Henry. And the book that ended up winning is An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson. I'm going to be honest, this is not the one I wanted. I wanted The Gathering by C.J. Tudor because I feel like there's a higher chance that we'll all enjoy this. You know, just in terms of like what would be good for the book club. I feel like there's a higher chance this would be like a good book for everyone. When I look at reviews for this, I see very mixed reviews from my friends. Some giving it five stars, some saying it's like all show and no substance and giving it two stars. I don't mean to make her nervous. 
that much. So this is a Suffolk love story, Dark Academia, Carmilla is there and there's a rivalry but they like, they're into each other and it's it's a Dark Academia tale of blood secrets and insatiable hunger. So S.E. Gibson wrote A Diary of Blood which was the uh, Dracula's wife retelling and so this is again vampiric. Oh no, the note fell out. You know, it's giving us vampire vibes with Carmilla but yeah, the reviews I've seen are either like, this is so atmospheric, beautiful writing, beautiful plot, it feels lush, it feels vivid, or people saying it's trying to shoot for an aesthetic and all it is is the aesthetic and the ending isn't good and like the characters are one dimensional and so I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> about this one because uh, I feel like we've been on a pretty good run with the book club lately and I want to keep that going and this one I feel like people are going to have very polarizing views on but I think this is going to be a fun one to read in September as autumn creeps in. You know October would have been the ideal month for a horror but we're doing it in September. You know you can't, you can't do what Team Buckley says but I think this would be a good one to lead us into autumn so yeah I'm I'm very, 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 very intrigued. We'll see, we'll see what we think of this one. I think it could go either way for the book club. So I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll see. Roll number three, person number one, which is green in fantasy. Okay, good, a few fantasy to read. You've got a three and a six. What can I get to with that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, <laughs> that is number eight, which is a book above 12,000 ratings on Goodreads. All of our prompts have been to do with numbers so far. <laughs> How's that happened? Roll number three was a fantasy above 12,000 ratings. All of our prompts have been like number based so far. Because I don't have a sci-fi room, fantasy also can encompass sci-fi. And the one that I've gone with is an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. This actually has 120,000 ratings, so 10 times the amount that it needs to get. I'm really, really excited for this one. And this one is about a girl in New York who stumbles across a giant sculpture and films a video of it, puts it on YouTube, and she goes viral. So there's like aliens, these sculpture aliens dotted around in cities around the world, which is like the sci-fi element, but she's also like dealing with going viral and famous and getting fame online. And like, I think people want to interview her about finding this sculpture and yada yada. I have read a lot of John Green in my time, but I've never read anything by Hank Green. And I feel like I've heard really 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 good things about this one. I'm expecting a level of intelligence, a level of like examination of human nature from this, kind of like from Richard Osman, you know, that kind of like view on what makes humans tick and what makes humans live the life they live. But you know, I haven't been reading a lot of YA, so that could be not as good a point. But yeah, I'm really really interested to see what I think of this one. Let me know if you've read it because I'd love to know your opinions. Okay, round number four, person number three, which is red up in historical. Let's see how many rows. We've got a three or a five. Let's go one, two, three. That is number 25, which is a book I've hauled recently. Roll number four was a historical I've hauled recently, and I'm cheating a little bit because I literally hauled this today <laughs> for a video. That's not cheating, I suppose. But it's one I don't know a ton about, so we're gonna read the synopses together. It is The Ghost Theatre by Matt Osman. I love this edition. I don't know too much about this. Oh, Book of the Year by The Evening Standard, The Observer and The Times. Interesting, okay. On a rooftop in Elizabethan London, two worlds collide. Shay, a messenger girl and trainer of hawks who sees the future in a pattern of birds. None such is the dark star of the city's fabled children's theatre scene, as famous as royalty yet lowly as a beggar. Together they create the Ghost Theatre, a troupe staging magical plays in Lundy's, Lundy's, <laughs> London's hidden corners. As their hallucinatory performances incite rebellion across the city's outcasts, the pair's relationship sparks and burns against a backdrop of the plague and London in flames. As a growing fame sweeps them up in the Black Rib Elizabethan court, where Shay and Nunsuch discover that if they fly too high, a fool is sure to come. Interesting. So it's like historical fantasy. I'm really intrigued. I love a good like historical setting. Like Tudor slash Victorian is really my era. I love it. And this era will always have such a close place in my heart of history that I really like books we set in. Because this kind of time with like Elizabethan, Elizabeth, if you don't know, if you're not from UK, Elizabethan was like the last of the Tudors. So she's like, not not the last Elizabeth, the first Elizabeth. <laughs> I've heard really good things about this one. I've heard that it's very theatrical. Obviously it's about a theater, but like the stuff on the back is like utterly transporting, rich and evocative, depicted with such a wealth of sensory detail that it blurs the line between memory and fantasy. Give it to me now. So yeah, there's something about this one 
that I'm feeling pretty good about that I think is going to be good. I love anything. I mean, it reminds me of, I've read quite a few historical fantasy to do with theatre, like performance, because obviously it was such a big thing back in that time. I've read quite a few and there's a few that I didn't love. I didn't love Theatre of Marvels by L.M. Dillsworth is one that's in my brain that I remember. So we're a bit touch and go, but I think this could be a very interesting read. So I'm looking forward to it. Roll number five, person number six, which is yellow over in Thriller. Should we try and do the dagger? Maybe let's try and do the dagger. We've got a three and a five. Can we do that? I think we can. Let's go one, two, three <laughs> and get the dagger, which is a random number generator. We have to use a random number generator to pick which book we're gonna read. Roll number four was the dagger, which is a random number generator, which means I have to do a random number and pick that book. Now I can either do it as that genre or as my whole TBR. I'm gonna do it as my whole TBR today. The only caveat with this is that if it's a book that I have set reading plans for a vlog, then I don't have to read it. That's the only caveat that we have and I get to go again. Now, how many books do I have on my TBR right now? 291, the less we talk about that, the better. I have to leave. I'm late. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ex not acknowledge that right now. Okay, two, one to 291, are we ready? We're gonna generate. 160, oh my god, how am I gonna count that far back? That's like, that's so far back. <laughs> how am I gonna do that? Right, oh no, hang on, let's let's do it by date added. That's how I usually sort it. Okay. That's 80, it seems they're grouped in, they load in 20s. Okay, so that's 80, that's 100, that's 120. God, we're getting back a bit. That's 140. Okay, so the next, right? If I mess up, the next one's gonna be 160, whatever the last book is. <gasps> okay, 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 Courtney Summers, that's a good result. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we have got Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers, which is one of the last Courtney Summers backlists I have to read. I haven't read, I think she has like a zombie book that I haven't read, but all the other ones I've read. What is this one about? So she used to be part of this like most popular girl group, but then rumors started about her and her best friend's boyfriend. And now she's been cast out and her ex-friends are out for revenge. So she takes solace in the company of a misfit with a tragic past whom she herself used to bully. Okay, 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 interesting, interesting. I love Courtney Summers. I love Courtney Summers. I give Courtney Summers always at least a four star, but majority have been five. We've got Cracked Up To Be, The Project, Sadie. Oh my God, like there's so many, <laughs> so many amazing Courtney Summers books I've read. So I'm excited to get into her backlist. I believe this is her second book. Cracked Up To Be was her debut, which I've read. This came out in 2009. So it's interesting to read. Like when I read Cracked Up To Be, it still felt very modern. So I'm interested to see whether this will feel the same to me. But I think that's a good result. I think that's a really, really good result. It's super short as well, it's 240 pages. So I feel like that's a really good result for the random number generator. Final roll, person number two, which is purple. Can we get to the rose prompt from there? We've got a three and a four. I don't think we can, can we? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God, perfect. <laughs> And that is the rose prompt, which means a Patreon is gonna pick what I read. And then our final roll for TBR Cluedo was the rose prompt, which is whenever you join my Patreon, you get to pick two books off my TBR that you'd like me to read, and we pick one and open it, and then I have to read it. So I'm excited to see, oh, bloody hell. I'm excited to see what we get. I should see that on my phone. And then we'll see who's picked it. I'm just grabbing one as quickly as I can. I know I need to get a bigger jar for this, guys, okay? I know I need to. I don't know where there's a bigger jar in the house. I'll have to try and find one. Anyways, okay. Let's see, what is it? Oh, it's The Reappearance of Rachel Price, which I have read. So let's firstly see who picked that, but I've obviously, I've read it already. So Mel picked it, only Mel. Only Mel picked it, but I have read it. Okay, we've got to pick another one. Let me reach down. I'm gonna try and reach quite far down and get one. Okay, I've got a good one. I feel like it's got good vibes. What could it be? Death of a bookseller, we've read it. <laughs> oh Lord, again, a fucking again. You guys are gonna all tell me, Megan, you need to like clear them out and you need to rewrite them. But I can see, I mark them on my, um, 
on my spreadsheet and still most of them I haven't read. Who picked Death of a Bookseller? Emma picked Death of a Bookseller, Ellen picked Death of a Bookseller, Kemi and Rosalie picked it. We've got to get another one. <laughs> I'm going to go a bit higher, higher this time because I've been digging quite low for a lot of them. Okay. In the Dream House. I have not read In the Dream House. Okie dokie. Who picked In the Dream House and then we'll find it? Shanice picked it. Because it's been on my TBR. Shanice is one of my first patrons. <laughs> this has been on my TBR for quite some time. Um, Esme picked it. Ali picked it. Andrea picked it. And Paula picked it. Right. Where is In the Dream House? Where is In the Dream House? Okay, I found it. It only took me 10,000 years. <laughs> We've got In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. So I have read Her Body and Other Parties, which I adored, I loved. And so I've really been looking forward to getting to this. I think this is on my start of the year TBR. And I think I thought, oh, I don't think I'm gonna read it. I don't think I'm gonna get around to it. I have heard such wonderful, 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 wonderful things about this one. So this is like a memoir. It traces her relationship with a charismatic but volatile woman. So I think it's about like an abusive relationship that she was in but it's all told through the lens and through different angles of like a topic so it says fairy tales disney villains legal proceedings you know it says set design tragedy of the commons cosmic horror the queen and the squid prisoner's dilemma like it's all these different lenses it sounds absolutely incredible i think carmen Machado. i mean i've only read one book but obviously an absolutely incredible incredible author so I'm glad that I'm being forced into reading this one because I think it could have taken me a long time it's one that I think I'm gonna love I think I'll probably give this five stars or close to it but it's kind of intimidating her books are kind of intimidating but just the idea of this the idea of a topic told through all these different lenses and angles is so fascinating to me I think that's such an interesting way to tell a story or tell something that happened to you you know so I can't wait to read this so thank you everyone who picked it for me but um yeah that's a really 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 good choice wow so there we have it everyone that is my September TBR Cluedo I'm feeling pretty good about the books I'm going to be reading throughout September let me know what's on your September TBR what are you planning to read in September also please let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!